All right, so I'm going to shoot just a really quick video to show the process of creating a cool uh, animation which we can show on our C64. So we're going to go to um, DuckDuckGo. We're going to look for Fireplace Animations, the animated GIF. Fireplace animated GIF. Okay, and we'll go to Images and we'll take a look at some of these. Okay. So which one do we like? Fireplace animation. Maybe it was fire animation. Fire animated GIF. Yeah. I like this one here. Okay, so we found a uh, GIF that we like. So we're just gonna hit view file. And um, close this window. I'm gonna put the file into a directory here and maybe I'll, I'll rename that to uh, fireplace okay don't need this anymore so um, next we're going to go to a place called uh, easygift.com easygift.com uh, has a split feature okay We'll upload our fireplace GIF. Upload. There it is. Say so split to frames. Okay, so it has seven frames, which is small and convenient for the C64. So say download those. And we'll move those over to here. Okay, we don't need this anymore. So we'll unzip this. And we'll call this uh, fireplace. And so we have this series of frames and it tells us that there's a uh, tenth of a second delay. So I'm just gonna rename these as frame zero, frame six, frame five, frame four, frame three, frame two, frame one. Oops typo there, frame six. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload these to a common place. So I'm gonna put these, I'm just gonna bring my FTP client over here. I'm gonna upload these to um, c64os.com. It's just a place where I can get to on the web. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try going to services.c64os.com images so we have Floyd Steinberg dithering yes input formatted gif output formatting I'm going to start with KOA I'm going to start with uh, JPG rather and the uh, input format I've done this once before so but I'll just uh, so the input format is going to be uh, the input file rather is going to be https c64os.com slash resources slash fire place Place. Place. And frame dot zero dot gif should be good. Didn't work. What did I do wrong? Maybe I didn't upload the images yet. Did I upload the images yet? There we go. Oh, 
okay. So here we have uh, what it will look like approximately as a multicolor image. So next what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna change the output format to K OALA. Copy that to the clipboard. So we're gonna stop that one. Sorry, my, my first upload didn't quite work. So I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard, frame zero. The reason is because um, I'm gonna paste it into a new window. That's gonna download the file, but it clears out the URL because it was a download. So we'll simply drop that in six more times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that's all we need for that because we've got the converted images now. So I'm going to call this uh, frames. And from our downloads directory here, we should have our six frames. Should put them there. Now, uh, these files are in qual format. So I am going to take a look at those to make sure they worked by using graphic converter. I'll move graphic converter over to here as well. And uh, I will go into our fireplace folder and our frames folder. And here we are, we can see these frame zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or zero to six rather. So that's kind of cool. That's just to confirm. So next what we're gonna do is we are going to convert these frame, these koala files into real frame data. So I'm gonna open them all in uh, hex editor and remove the prefix load address of 6,000 and I'm gonna add a zero at the end. Save that, remove 6,000, add a zero, save that, remove 6,000, add a zero, save that, and so on. Now, I suppose if I were doing this on 100 frames or something, I'd make it automated. But this is just kind of a cool little demonstration of how we can go really from, from nothing to something. Okay, so I've just converted all these frames. And um, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, those are technically not qual files. So maybe I'll, maybe I will, Rename these, replace Koala with frame. Okay, that's good. So next, with my terminal, just change to this directory here. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack all these frames together into one sort of data package. So I'll just go cat, Frame zero, frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, and frame six. And I'll pack that into frames.frm. And so what we should see here, if we do a long list, is that um, our original koala file format should be 10,001. 10,003, should be 10,003 bytes. But we stripped off two bytes and we added one. And so we end up with a file that's 10,002 bytes. So those are all good. And then this final file here, which is this frames.frm package, should be exactly seven times uh, 10,002. So we get 7,014. Looks pretty much right to me. So next, um, I have an SD card back there. And uh, 
So I'm going to go into my pictures folder, into my Commodore graphics folder. I'm just going to copy this frames.frm file into there. And then I'm going to eject the SD card. Okay. So now I can pull the SD card out of the back of the computer. There it is. And if you will not mind the disruption, we're going to move. There's Captain Kirk. You can say hello to Captain Kirk. We're going to move ourselves into this room. Let's see if that stands in a good place. Not exactly. So maybe we'll just adjust that a little bit, like, like so. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to seat myself down in front of my wonderful Ultimate 64. I'm going to take the SD card here, and I'm going to insert it into my SD to IEC drive. Let's run a directory on that. Okay, so if we go into pictures, and we go into Commodore Graphics, we have our uh, frames.frm file. So we're going to load and run from C64 Tools, CGFX Creator. It didn't work. Let's make sure it's actually called that. Maybe it was lowercase. Is it lowercase? Yeah, it was lowercase. My mistake. Sorry about that. Go back to OS Pictures. Here's our file. Oh, nope. Go back to Pictures. I got my directories right. Go back to Commodore Graphics. Okay. So we'll just run that CGFX Creator. So now it's going to ask us a series of questions. So we'll call this Fireplace. Why not? Artist, unknown, source, duck, duck, go, gif, year, oh, we could say this is uh, August 2023, format doesn't really matter, it's just, it's just a text field for metadata, title, oh, I don't know, let's call it uh, hearth and home. Now, matrix rows. This is an animated GIF, so we're going to say that there's just one row, and there were seven columns because there were seven frames. Start row of zero. Start column. It's going to what frames it going to start on? We'll say zero. Are these animated? Yes, they are. So frame delay. Uh, the smallest we can use is one tenth of a second. So we'll say one. That is pretty standard for uh, animated GIFs. Loop count. We'll say infinite because this is a uh, fire animation. And do we want it to loop or do we want it to bounce? We want it to loop. Frame size, default 25 by 40. Video mode, uh, we converted to Koala, which is a multicolor bitmap. So we'll say five. Video attributes, uh, just one color map. Uh, the frame pairs are not interlaced. And we're not doing any tricks with the background per raster. So that's going to pack together a headers file. OK. So here we are. So um, total size 7,190. Um, yeah. That'll be the total size of the file after we add the frames to it. So what we have here is we have fireplace.cgh, which is the header files for the counter graphics format. And we have this frame bundle of data that we have previously put together. So we'll go, we use the DOS command copy. We'll say fireplace.cgx equals fireplace cgh, which are the headers, and then we're going to concatenate onto that frames.frm, which is our frames package of data. Hit that button. 
and I don't think you can see it, but it's, it's the drive is copying data. Actually, you can see the reflection on my hand. It's a red or an orange LED. Almost done. Okay, done. So now when we list the directory, we see that we have this 277 block file is 276 bl blocks of uh, data, one block of headers, and we're good to go. Next, we're going to boot into C64 OS. Welcome, it's version 1.04, which I'm getting ready right now to turn into a commercial bundle. I'm not gonna be selling 1.0 anymore. I'm gonna start selling 1.04. So here we are, and I am going to double click on this file. And uh, CGX files have already been assigned to open in the image viewer. So we're gonna open the image viewer here. And now the image viewer um, takes that extension, looks up a data type loader for CGX files, and it is busy loading in um, this data it's loading it into the REU, which has already been configured on the Ultimate 64. So here we have uh, format, Commodore Graphics, animated bitmap, resolution, image size in kilobytes. Here's the metadata we put in, unknown, DuckDuckGo GIF, August 2023, title, hearth and home, pretty cool. And here is our first frame, and we'll say animation loop by the way is by default because that's what's in the file we'll say play and there we go <laughs> isn't that great so that is everything from stem to stern right from the web all the way to the commodore 64 and playing back the graphic hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching